Unemployment, nearly a week later. How do I feel about it? If you haven't seen the original video, then this won't make a lot of sense to you, so I will leave a link up above and down below so you can go and watch it. The long and short of it is, I was made redundant. Everyone at my company was made redundant. The company that I was working for went into administration, so we all lost our jobs. I don't think any of us knew this was happening. Maybe the higher ups knew it was happening in advance, I don't know, but the vast majority of us found out Thursday morning, we log on, we have a team call, and that's it. We're told, don't work anymore. And then we have to navigate the process of filing for redundancy claims, um, getting a new job, and just sort of navigating everything and it's a bit overwhelming. Before I start getting comments saying, oh, is all you're gonna talk about your redundancy now? No, it's not. I was gonna make a completely different video this week, but I just wanted to talk about it a little bit more because in my first video that I made, it was so raw. It was happening to me there and then. And I don't know if I spoke about it the best way and I definitely just wanna talk about it a little bit more because it's, it's, it's what's happening in my life right now. It's the big thing that's going on. So since the end of that last video, I have applied to a bunch of different jobs up and down the country. I have spoken to two people from two different recruitment agencies about finding a new job in my area, maybe. So as many of you know, I work from home and I have done for the longest time. On this YouTube channel, I have documented my journey with content writing and then digital marketing. I am very passionate about social media. That's why I make YouTube videos. I'm also very passionate about writing. That's why I speak about content writing. That's why I have written a book on Amazon, two books technically. I want to use this redundancy, this period of unemployment, as a chance to find something new and exciting. Something that pays me well and something that lets me keep learning. Because I was learning so much at that job. I get a lot of comments on TikTok. If you don't follow me on TikTok, you should. But I get a lot of comments on TikTok from people saying that I was heavily underpaid at my last job. That is not a statement that I agree with. I do not think I was underpaid. I think I was paid what I'm worth. I'm very honest with myself and I'm very honest with other people. And in the days that have followed my redundancy, I have applied to many jobs. I've applied to so many jobs and I've spoken to a lot of people about what I think my pay should be and I'm honest with myself. I know what I'm worth currently because I know what I would pay someone with my skills. If I was the employer and I had this money and I was delegating it, I know what I would pay someone who had the skills that I've got and I want to be honest with myself. So yeah, I'm, I've applied to jobs and I've got some interviews lined up. Um, very soon. Um, in fact, quite a few people from my TikTok page have reached out to me and I'm talking to them. Like they, I, it turns out I have talented people following me online. I've got like recruiters and digital marketers and just cool people following me and I get to talk to them and see what they think and if there's anything out there for me. At the end of the day, I am still very new to the marketing world. I do not need to be told that. Um, so I know that there's a lot out there for me that I didn't even know existed. When I rewind the clock a couple years ago to when I was graduating university, I didn't know that this is where I was gonna be. I had no idea this was this was possible for me. I don't know how many more videos I'm gonna make about this. The second I get a job, I'm gonna be making a video talking about my new job and what I'm doing in that job. And if I've, I'm so excited. I'm terrified. I want my old job back because I loved it, but I'm trying to spin this into a positive and I'm trying so hard to just stay motivated. So that's it. I wanted to give you a bit of an update on this if you don't follow me on TikTok because I post on there every single day and the people on TikTok have been getting a lot of information from me about what's happening in my life. So if you do like me here on YouTube, I do recommend that you follow me on TikTok because I do make videos regularly on there. YouTube's just about once a week, so you don't see me as much. Thank you so much for your overwhelming words of support. It does legitimately mean the world to me and I will talk to you soon. Bye bye.